Hello my crafty friends. Today I am sharing a masculine pop-up card made using the May 2018 paper pumpkin kit called Manly Moments. I was lucky enough to find a posting of someone selling some unused paper pumpkin kits and this one is all about mountains and trees and if you follow me you know I love mountains and trees and nature so I was really excited to be able to grab this kit. Here's my card. The colored envelopes are included and they're lined and they're lined all the way through. So for most of the cards, I am going to use the envelopes to put with the cards, but one of them I did sacrifice and cut it into strips so that I could use the lovely wood grain paper that coordinates so nicely. Now I did put some stamping on that envelope here. This is from the In the Pines stamp set, which is also from Stampin' Up. So my card today is, I did not deviate very much at all from the sketch because I absolutely loved it. So the paper pumpkin kit comes with directions and this kit will make 10 cards, five of each design. And I mean, normally I just take the, the materials and use it as a craft kit and then go ahead and make my own alternative cards. But this, I just, honestly, I just loved it. So that is what I went with for the card fronts here. The laser cut trees are beautiful. The only thing I did differently is I cut down one of these softly colored card bases. So I don't know what color it is. It's a very soft, like a pale green uh, card that's white on the inside. And I did cut that down to you have two panels and mounted it to a, I think that's a crumb cake, uh, also a Stampin' Up! cardstock base. So the laser trees, I did pop up with foam tape. I'm not sure if that's what the directions showed, but I liked it. And I used thin foam tape for dimension. Did the layering. I mean, I just love it. I also added the birds, and they are from the March 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So there's the birds there. And I could have put those pine trees on the envelope as well. So the, <laughs> those birds I've used so much. So this is the front of my card and inside. It is a pop-up. You can see here is where I used a couple of strips of the one envelope that I've cut down. And to make my pop-up platform inside, I cut a smaller panel of a confetti cardstock. It's off-white and it's got all these pretty speckles. And then I used this die from Karen Berniston's Mini Pops. So it comes with all of these dies that you can use to make um, pop-ups, the spiral angled arms for your pop-up. So I did use that for my base. Now it has additional arms that I could have pulled out if I wasn't going to mount something large and I could have had something popping up from behind. But for this card, I just liked the trees. I pulled out like an olive cardstock from my stash that I've had forever and die cut. This is called Tree Line. It's a Tim Holtz alterations die. So it's one of those thick steel ruled dies, but it's small. It's about six inches across and maybe three inches wide. My mom gave it to me for Christmas years ago because she knows how much I love trees and mountains and all of that. So um, it, of course, was wider than my card. So I just cut it down on the sides and the two trees that I cut off, I added in behind with foam tape for a little more dimension. This sentiment, may your journey through life take you to many new and exciting places. That also comes from the March 2021 Paper Pumpkin Stamp Set. A couple more of the die cut and stamped trees from In the Pines. For my signing block here, I used Karen Berniston's Crosshatch Rectangles. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it is a set that... All of the crosshatch sets have alternating straight edge and crosshatch edges. That's always a mouthful. And the straight edges give you this lovely embossed line with no, no effort on your part. That comes, that, that's just a feature of the die. One pass through the machine gives you that lovely embossed edge. There's more of the birds there. And I added them here. The sentiment, happy one year older day, comes from anything but basic birthday wishes from MFT stamps. There's a whole bunch of really fun sentiments. Now I will have all of the supplies that are still available are linked on my blog, which is in the description box below. And I wanted to, I'm not even sure if they show up in video, but I did some very soft stenciling on the back to mimic the mountains on the front of the card. And how I did that, of course, is I used my tailored expressions blending brushes. 
These are an absolute staple in my craft room. And the kit comes with this sheet of stickers. Well, there's five of them because you get to make five of these card fronts. So you can see there's the mountains here and then the lake. And that lake matches the color of the envelope. And they are stickers. So after I used the sheet, if you can see there's a border left around once you peel off the stickers and apply them to your card base, there's this border outline left as a scrap. So I took this piece here, I just I don't didn't need to use this piece, but I used scissors and just just gently cut them apart. So I had two pieces, and then I adhered those two pieces to just a scrap of cardstock. So there's nothing fancy because they're stickers, they stuck really well. I adhered them to this scrap of cardstock, and that gave me my stencil. I laid it here, used the stencil brush, tapped it in my ink pad, tapped off a couple of times on scratch paper, and then just lightly brushed and got my mountains. And then this one is on the other side. The leftover pieces is normally something you would throw away. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one before it deteriorates and then I have four more that I will be able to use. So they do stretch across a four and a quarter inch, so an A2 size, and they will also work on slim lines and mini slim lines. So just another way that you can use your throwaway pieces. And I have a wonderful masculine birthday card for my stash. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.